Hey guys, how are you doing? Ah, it's been forever for an update. We've been running electrical. I'm down in the basement right now, but we just got our load of um, cabinets. Um, we got these from Menards. These are unfinished hickory. So we're gonna have to do a little bit of sanding, probably not much, maybe a little hand sanding just to make sure they're not rough or anything. And then we're just gonna do a straight clear on these. Um, and then, so these, this is the, the island here. Uh, the oven will go, the stove and the oven will go in here. I'm thinking of rotating that. I just laid it out here. And you're not going to need, this is where the kitchen sink's going to be. And I don't think you need to go from the oven to the sink very much. But this is not to proportion because obviously our refrigerator won't fit in that space. So it's going to be moved over. This cabinet goes above the fridge. So it's about, you can see how far the fridge is there. Um, so and the kitchen sink will be over there. So I'm thinking you're going to go from the oven to the fridge and the pantry more than you're gonna go from the oven to the sink. Just need to discuss that maybe with my wife a little bit, but I think that's a change. So we're gonna take this and rotate it. These are upper cabinets for the back of the island. And what I'll do is build up a little bit of wood to bring them up to the same height as these. So, um, but that's kind of the way the kitchen's gonna look, except rotating the island, I think. Um, and then, so walk in, we'll have a tall pantry cabinet. These are the upper cabinets. Let's see if I can make this wider. Hold on. Boop, boop. Wider. Did it change? It did change. Okay. Anyways, it's hard to do when I'm close. So this will be upper cabinets, kitchen window above the sink, corner cabinets, the other window. And then we'll have tall pantry, refrigerator, another pantry. So we don't have like a pantry closet in um, in our kitchen area. So we're um, bringing in these three pantry um, style cabinets for most of our dry goods. Um, other stuff we can just probably build like a cabinet down here inside the basement. Um, it's nice and cool and you don't have to do much to get that done. Um, but. Right now we're focused on electrical and plumbing. And then when the electrical and plumbing is done, then we're focused on sheetrock. Um, the other thing we ordered is siding. Siding could maybe go on probably before sheetrock. Um, working on electrical and plumbing, um, but we're, uh, we're trying to move as fast as we can. This is gonna take a while. Um, hopefully maybe this time next year, the kitchen and the bathrooms are done. So these cabinets, um, the bathroom cabinets, we we got those. Let me see. Hold on. Let me. Sh I'm going to show you the bathrooms. Hold on. So this is the main bathroom here, um, and so these are also unfinished hickory cabinets. So this is the main bathroom. Um, the kitchen or the bathroom sink will be here. Center sink, stack of drawers on either side. So that should give the kids plenty of storage space. Um, and this is a little bit, this is pretty much a standard bathroom size, um, maybe a, a little bit longer depth wise and a little bit wider this way, but um, pretty standard. We got um, tall standing toilets and um, you know, we got uh, elongated seats that are more comfortable. That's the master bathroom vanity there. Um, so it's designed to have a sink on either side and then, sorry, my face is on screen. Sink on either side and a stack of drawers in the middle for the master bath. Um, and then, um, so all of those together um, was, um, well, we looked, at, we looked at Home Depot for them to design finished cabinets for us was, we were still gonna have to install them, but they'd be finished. We wouldn't have to put a clear on them. But we're still gonna have to install them. Um, this is the kitchen area. So if you can kind of picture what's downstairs. So um, Home Depot was twenty, about $20,000 for their cabinets. They did have a promotion or something, but it still wouldn't, uh, it still would be quite a bit. Um, Menards, their cabinets were considerably cheaper, um, but their finished cabinets that we still have to install, there's gonna be 10 grand. Um, now Menards has an 11% rebate right now, so you get some of that money back. Um, but all in all, it's still 
um, you know, pretty good deal compared to Home Depot. Um, but then we went and I spent some time online. I took the designs that I got from the Menards designer and that I got from the Home Depot designer. And then I just went on a Menards website and I found these hickory um, unfinished cabinets. So I have to finish them out. But the same thing, I have to install them. Um, I worked in a cabinet shop for three years, so I have a little experience in, in, with installing cabinets. So um, that should be not too, too big of a deal for me. Um, so, but that price with the bathroom vanities was, um, was by $4,500. So it's gonna be a little more labor to finish them out, but honestly, that's not too, too hard. That should be something that we can handle um, on our own. My wife and kids and I can actually all work together on that and get the cabinets finished out. So anyways, um, you can see we worked on electrical. Um, this is kind of where we're at right now just continuing to run electrical. Um, we're putting wiring up for can lights up in the ceilings. So there's just a lot of electrical and plumbing to be done right now. Um, and working on it on my weekends whenever we've got time. So once the electrical and um, plumbing are done, then we can start doing sheetrock. Um, we need siding on the outside of the house. So that's something else that we need to work on. Um, but that's, uh, that's where we're at. So there, a little bit longer of an update than normal, but uh, I know it's been a while since I threw one out there. So I figured I would share with you guys. You guys have a blessed day. Love you. Bye.